Hello, gremlins of the underworld. <laughs> it is a heat wave right now, which is why I'm very sweaty and dying. But today, we are going to be taking some black t-shirts and making them not black t-shirts. Well, one of them might still stay that, but it's going to be different and it's going to be fixed. And the rest of this is going to have to be voiceovered because, like I mentioned, the heat wave. And it's way too hot in here and I have to sit in my room that has AC and the AC is really freaking loud. So I will voice it over for you, but this is the intro. Please enjoy me introducing you to what I'm going to be doing. Also, I did my nails myself. They're gel nails. These are my real nails. Everyone's like, what? No, but they're like not that long. I'm like, yes, they are. Yes, yes, they are. Those are my real nails. Okay. It's really sweaty, so I'm just going to leave now. So here's what the t-shirt looks like to start, and there's a couple holes in it, which is why I'm deciding to transform it into a tank top instead. So I started off by filling the holes, but really this was kind of an unnecessary step because they're going to get cut off and sewn up in through the hemline anyway. So not super necessary, but I did it anyway. Next is cutting off the neckline and the sleeves, and just cut the neckline how you want it to be shaped. And boom, now you have a tank top. You can leave it here if you're lazy, but I'm just gonna hem around all the edges. Make sure to use a zigzag stitch or a serger if you have one. And this is the tank top. You can end here if you like it, but I wanna add some stuff to it. Are you gonna let them talk to me like that? Yeah. <laughs> the fuck? Then I took a little break from working on this to go get Korean barbecue with Christian and just chill and go see a movie. Oh, it's killing me that I had to turn the fan off for like two seconds, but here's the tank top. It has been sewn and I marked with a little bit of chalk which side is the front. What is that? Anyway. So I'm going to lay it down. Bam. And then I'm going to use my Taylor's chalk and I'm going to sketch out my design. And for the design, I decided that I think I want to do a biblically accurate angel. So <laughs> maybe asking why? I don't know. It's just got a bunch of wings and eyeballs. And I think it looks sick. I think it looks cool. So that's what we're doing. <sighs> so I'm just going to kind of freehand it, draw it on, and then I'll show you when it's time to do the bleach. pretty much done the sketch now and now it's time to start using the bleach so it's going to be one part bleach and one part water I think I'm going to do that half and half mix to start and if I need it a little bit stronger I'll add a bit more bleach but I want to start like that because this shirt's already getting a lot of holes in it um just from being really old it's probably 10 years old I, I don't throw stuff away so yeah so I'm gonna try to be delicate with the bleach and then once you're done doing the bleach artwork it's really important to put it into water right away with a little bit of hydrogen peroxide. I think the hydrogen peroxide gets the smell out, but then it also stops the bleaching process and stops it from like hurting your clothes because that's what the bleach is doing essentially. Time to do the bleach part. While working on this, I noticed the amount of water to bleach that I had wasn't really quite working, so I ended up adding a little bit more bleach throughout and that was starting to work a little bit better and I just kept going over the same areas with a little bit more bleach if I felt like they weren't taking enough and really just kept going over my lines and making them more distinct and then trying to go thinly in areas that I wanted to be a little bit more subtle.
After my art was done, I dunked it into the hydrogen peroxide and water, and then I left it out on the balcony to dry, and I noticed how cute my plants were, and I got distracted. Maybe I'll do a plant tour eventually. But yeah, I think leaving it in the sun to dry also helps activate the bleach and make it work a little bit more. So yeah, I just started chilling outside and waiting for it to be dry. Here is the final result. Honestly, this shirt probably would have been thrown away or probably ended up in a landfill if it went to a thrift store with the state it was in with all the holes. So I'm so glad I was able to turn it into this tank top and add this cool design to it. And the bleach dyeing is super fun, so I highly recommend it. Thank you for being here and thank you so much for helping me reach 500 subscribers. It's a really big deal to me and you are all super important to me, so thank you. 500 subs, man!